Good morning world from California. I'm gonna just jump right in about how to stay young because I'm, you know, for a long time I was saying 50 is the new 40 and now I think 60 is the new 50. <laughs> so how to stay young. Um, you know, it's not so much about the word young as it is about being vital and flexible and on the go and learning new things. So I'm just going to start right off because I'm starting to hear people my own age moan and groan about this and that, this hurt and that problem and that issue. And it's Here's what I see. People deciding to be old. Oldie moldy, as my son used to say. <laughs> and if you're watching, um, that's a pretty funny saying. Um, but it's true because, listen, you know, when people say, oh, I should have learned that language when I was younger. It's like, no, you can still learn it now. So um, how I stay alive is by going to new countries and doing new things and being in uncomfortable situations. And yeah, uncomfortable is what makes you really grow as a person. So that if it's not all smooth with plenty of pillows, you're going to actually learn some new stuff because it's out of the neural pathways that you have dug to make a rut for ourselves. And truly, it's so easy to get into it. It's like, I've noticed this year that I'm happier about stuff that used to piss me off. And I'm kind of stunned by that because I'm like, oh, I've made some progress because why should everything cater to me? Now, this is decades in coming, but that's something travel has taught me. It rarely goes according to plan. So things are late, trains and planes get canceled, um, all kinds of stuff happens. You sign up for the all-female coach in India on the train and you get on and it's all men and you're the only female. I handled it. Um, so it's like, when you do something that's really uncomfortable and new, you learn new neural pathways and you start doing new things. So I highly recommend it because um, I'm hearing people in their 40s say things like, oh, I'm too old for that. And it's something that they could do, you know, like travel or uh, learn a new language or... Um, try a new business, start a new business. I mean, I'm constantly starting new businesses. And and sure, I don't always uh, pass through flying colors. Sometimes I fail, and um, I highly recommend failing. <laughs> that took me a long time to get to, too. Because some things don't work, and the only way you're going to find out if they work is if you try them. So that is my uh, thing on staying young. It's not about the Botox people. It's more about your mindset and staying happy because you can be happy. You can decide to be happy and not let the outside world affect you and what's happening in the news and everything. It's like that's all outer stuff. I mean, what you bring to this world is what comes from the deeper, most inner spirit of who you are. So... Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next video. Comment below. Let me know what you think about staying young and what you've done. And, hey, thanks for subscribing and sharing and all the likes and the comments. I really appreciate it because this is where I hang out the most on YouTube. Um, so, uh, and I'm on Facebook every day, too. But YouTube, I've been on since 2009. Same with Facebook. Um, and those are the places I interact a lot. Um, so... Let me know what you think.